Hi everyone, I'm Dolan Duckett and welcome to the last part of our fresh yeast or sourdough project. Now, your culture may be looking a little flat, so I'll be going over my maintenance process to help keep that culture alive. Now, this isn't a keto diet. We'll be using active dry yeast in conjunction with our fresh yeast to help speed up and beef up the proofing process. So, let's just get straight to it. So today we're going to need spatulas, your yeast culture, minced apple or pear, a large spoon, your distilled water heated to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, white whole wheat flour, and lastly, a draft free area with a temperature of at least 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So with running the maintenance schedule, there are two things to keep in mind. First, discard half of your culture every week. And two, add apple or pear to the feed every two to four weeks or twice monthly. First, we'll mix our yeast, making it easier to discard. We'll clean our spatulas inside the jar. Now we'll discard about half of the culture. It doesn't have to be exact, just enough to keep the yeast reproducing and multiplying. That should be enough. Now we'll clean some of the jar with the spatula, making sure most of our culture that we are going to use is at the bottom. And as you can see, we have about half of what we started off with. Doesn't have to be exact, just enough to keep things going. After a quick wipe with the microfiber towel, we'll add some minced apple. Then we're going to add three heaping tablespoons of our white whole wheat flour. Then we'll add two tablespoons of our heated distilled water. Now we're going to start to stir the culture but you'll start by folding the additives into the culture, starting from the wall of the jar to the center. This will prevent flour particles from dusting up. When the flour is somewhat hydrated, begin stirring. You should be able to feel the pillowy structure giving you a little resistance, which is all normal. And you can see that baby starting to rise already. Now, remember to clean your spatulas inside the lid, not wasting any of your hard work. Then quickly wipe the wall of the jar, cleaning it of any unmixed material, and replace the lid if you took yours off. You know immediately if your maintenance was performed successfully if you see a pillowy structure, air pockets, in a rising center. And again, don't forget to place your culture back in your proofer or draft-free space that has an internal temperature of at least 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're all set. And quickly before we go, some of you might encounter this problem of a mildly active culture that is oversaturated. In this instance, we see air pockets that have a clear liquid at the top, which is a combination of sugar and alcohol from the fermenting apple, as well as water condensation from the jar. But there's a simple fix. We simply add flour a tablespoon at a time and stir until the clear level is fully incorporated. But remember, do not add water until your next feeding day. And after a couple of feeds, this will be the final product. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments.
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and tell me what you think in the comment section. Until next time, have a good one.